Hello everyone, today I'm sharing with you a snippet roll. This is a snippet roll I've made for June, who is June Angel Pews on YouTube. She's having a challenge um, that ends at the end of January. The challenge was to make her a snippet roll and attach a few things that could be removed for her to use. Um, June only lives in a small apartment, so she doesn't have a huge amount of room. So it's an ideal kind of challenge for her to have. She would have liked you to either stitch some items on or pin some items on rather than glue everything on just so that she is able, if she wants to, to remove little bits and pieces and use it in her own crafting. Okay, it was for a fabric lace applique snippet roll in White's Creams Ivories Muted Peach or Pinks. So she wanted light colours and I've stuck to light colours and I'll show you what I've done. Mine is sat on this little silver type plate and um, I'll just tilt it for you so you can get a look at what it looks like. kind of reminds me of a little hat or, or a unicorn horn or something like that. It wasn't intentional, it's just the way it's turned out. Because I used a wooden spindle. I've done a snippet roll using these spindles before and I blunted the end for you June so it's not too pointy. Um, and the only parts that are glued are the pieces that are attached to the wooden spindle. I've painted the spindle white and put some crochet doily around it and that is what's glued. Everything else is stitched or pinned. So that's what it looks like from the outside. It looks quite pretty actually. And when I send it to you June, I may or may, may not take it off the plate just for the convenience of packaging. Um, it is glued onto the plate, but only with fabric glue so it can come apart. So you can use the plate for something else if you wish. Um, so I may take it off the plate just for the purpose of packaging. On the closure here, oh well I'll show you that when I do it, I'll undo it now. So it undoes with this organza bow. And this is the first time I've undone it since it's been on the plate, so we'll see how we go. And that's the closure there. The closure is two is one applique piece stitched on. And you may notice little threads. Now the threads are there to show you where the stitching is so that if you want to take something off you can see the ends of the stitching and you know all you have to do is get your little scissors and snip the threads and it will come loose. It's st everything stitched on with about three or four stitches. So it's, it's on there nice and firm but it's not so hard to get it off. So the little buckle there is stitched on and the pin, which is one of those little bulb, um, those little bulb pins, has a piece of doily, it has a mother of pearl flower, a little charm, and another mother of pearl flower on the top there, and that's just pinned underneath this little buckle that's stitched on also. On the outside of the snippet roll, are all these little butterflies. I hope you can see them. And they've all been stitched on with a button so it's all very easily removed. Just snip the little threads underneath and all your butterflies are usable and they're all the way around along the, the back of the snippet roll. Under that is the beautiful pink organza ribbon and that is stitched on where the butterflies are stitched on so you know if you take the butterflies off the ribbon you will be able to use the ribbon as well. Underneath the ribbon on the back is my actual snippet roll. Now this is a, it's a snippet roll I made a while ago just so you get some.
it's a usable snippet roll. It's made up of all laces and just pieces of fabric on the back and things like that. So as my base, I used some of my snippet roll. Um, so that's underneath the ribbon. So that's what the whole of the back there's another piece of ribbon there that I've attached just so that when it goes around I can tie it. So all on the back are all these little butterflies that you can take off and use and the ribbon. So that's the back there. On the base of the spindle I have some pearls tied up with a little bit of organza ribbon so you can take that off and use the pearls. I also have this gathered lace, it's a vintage lace and I've gathered that using a ribbon so all you have to do is snip the ribbon off the ends and I've gathered it up with thread, just snip the thread and you can use that lace for something else but it is all gathered up with normal thread as you would make a flower. Um, I think I might have put that upside down but that doesn't matter. And then you can just take it apart because the, the flower is not like this one end is at the top and one end is down underneath at the bottom down here. So it's just gathered lace that you can undo and you can use at your own discretion. Same with this piece at the top. I'll show you what I've done that might make it easier. This is just a little piece of gathered lace that I've wrapped around the top of the spindle. It's already pre-gathered this one and then I've just put two pieces of ribbon on it so that I could tie it together at the top. And that was just to make it look pretty at the top and that's to make it look pretty at the bottom. And also to stop the snippet roll moving up and down because the spindle is quite long. Okay, so that's the back of the snippet roll there. And like I said, all the buttons come off and all the button butterflies and also the organza ribbon. Now we can have a look at the inside of the snippet roll. And this is it here. Just put it down like that, get things looking organised. Probably not the easiest things to film. Alright, let me see. Okay, so on this snippet roll you will see flowers. All the flowers have been made with little ribbons. So instead of using a needle and thread to make the flowers, I got a larger needle and I threaded it with some silk ribbon and I, right, so that, that's a piece of lace. With the ribbon I went in and out and then I pulled it tight so it looks like a flower and you can see I've just tied it in a bow underneath and then that made a flower and then I've got little appliques and buttons and all I've done is stitched it like just with a, a couple of threads you, you I don't know if you can see um, I've stitched it and I've gone through gone through each thing and then gone back through and ended it off so although they're on there they're very easy to remove and they all come apart these are, you can use the ribbons again you can use all the lace again and the same for this but the ribbon is on top here um, because they are silk ribbons they do come undone easily so with these ones that are on top I put a stitch over the top but to take it apart you just need to snip that little stitch under there and it will all come apart. The same with the little wedding appliques. There's just two stitches holding those on so that they are easily removed and you will see the little ends of the thread just to make it easier for you. There's an acrylic bead. There's an acrylic love heart here. Just tied on with a little lace bow. There's another little flower and a button, easy to remove. A little applique with a glass crystal. 
that you can take off, just a thread on either side, another applique. This little flower here is uh, okay. This is an applique. It's two little doily medallions, another applique and a mother of pearl bead. And I've just used this silver yarn. I, uh, I stitched, I put it through the back, I took it through the applique, the doilies, the applique, then through the button and back through everything and then tied it in a bow. So by undoing that bow, that will just all come off for you. Here, oh, there, there's a couple of threads there. Like I said, I left them, but I don't want them too long, but long enough for you to see. That one's a little bit longer than I would like it. So I'll just cut those. We have another little bulb pin, and it has this lovely little pearl um, charm. It has a mother of pearl button and a little pink flower button on it. This is another little flower. These are all vintage laces that I've used for the flowers. Another little um, lace flower here. I've attached just a little string of pearls, the same as these ones. The little button on top is a glass button because one of the things June said was if you could attach a glass button she would love that. So that's a little glass button in the centre there and that's held there by a little pink ribbon. Another, it's it's pretty mirror image actually as you can see going back the other way everything is the same. On the end here just to finish it off there's the little organza flower. I think the only difference with the two sides was that's an organza flower there and that's an applique flower there. Underneath all the things there's the snippet roll that I just showed you at the back and I've just stitched on, as you can see I can get my hand under there, I've stitched all across the top there just with a, a gathering stitch, um, a doily edge just to make it look pretty. So that is, you can almost see the stitches there if you were to look close enough. You can take that off and use that so everything is usable. Everything can come off, even the ribbon, even the applique. See, there's only stitches just keeping it all together. And it did take a while. I have to admit, I didn't think it would take quite as long as it took, but I think it's, it's well worth it because I think it's incredibly pretty the way it's turned out. And June, I really hope you like it. It was a lot of fun to make. It really, really was. Um, and, oh, let me just show you. See, there's the bottom. It's just a ruffled... I'll undo that for you. It was. It, it is done the same way as the last. The last. The top one was done as well. There we go. See, that's just tied on there. Tied on there with two pieces of ribbon. If I was to go, um, just where's the end of it? It's hiding under there. Of course it is. I don't want to take it all, but there's, where's the end? <laughs> I've lost the end. Anyway. Oh, there it is there. It's hiding. See, that's the end of the ruffled lace. I've just gathered it all up, and if you want to ungather it and use it for something else that's quite simple, I have attached ribbons. Now, the ribbons are attached with a few, quite a few, little threads. So if you want to remove them, just cut the end of the lace off would be the easiest way to do that, I think. And um, do it that way. Okay, let me just... So I've just got... That is, that is my snippet roll. Okay. 
it's the end. And of course, that's the closure there. Just give you a closer look at that, and the butterflies on the back. Okay, and that of course goes on very easily. The all I did was I held it, I held it like that, and then it just fingers and thumb, thumbs while I'm on, <laughs> while I'm videoing, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. So it doesn't have to be too tight, but it does help the snippet roll stay where I want it to stay. Plus it's just another little thing that June can use and I've got one ribbon there, one ribbon there, so I take that and I tie a little bow just there. Like that. Move it up a little bit. Obviously, it's not a hanging snippet roll, but it is a display piece. I mean, I think that looks really, really pretty. I mean, if you had a dressing table, you could almost put it on that and just put your jewels on there or something as well. Um, it does look very soft and pretty. So, there we go, June. I hope you like it, and I hope it's what you were looking for. Um, and thank you for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.